very sexy hat. It matches my jacket. Where are we going? So we are hiking the Gobbins footpath. And we're gonna see all sorts of things here. Like the sea. See the sea? Be the sea. Fill the sea. And of course, me. And whatever else is ahead of us. We have our safety hat on because the Gobbins apparently need safety. So the trail that we're on was built as a tourist attraction. See, back in the Victorian days, they built a bunch of railroads and you had to figure out how to pay for that railroad somehow. So what happened is one of the railroad builders was like, yo, I know this super cool spot and I'm going to build this path around it that's going to require my engineering. So it took him a year to construct all of this stuff around the path that we're going to walk on. So like many other parts of Northern Ireland, we're sitting in what used to be an old volcano like 65 million years ago. These stones have seen stuff. Oh, look at this. We can see part of the original trail. See, this is all new fancy construction. Original trail. But back in 1901, there wasn't all of this rockfall and all sorts of stuff. The trail has changed. So in the 1900s, that's when this opened, 1901. A town about five kilometers south of here was a thriving resort town. Hotels, beaches, all sorts of cool stuff were popping up. And all the posh people had a little fancy transportations to take them up here. You guys, look at that water. That is some blue water. And these are the stairs. Cause I'm on a highway to hell. Bum, bum. Original Victorian post. Super blue water. It's so cool. Like the fact that this is still here, you guys. Look at this. Chilling out. Like we're literally walking on a path that's been here for like 125 years. How cool. So in the distance over here, we can see Scotland with a beautiful rainstorm flaming in the aisles. So we've been seeing a load of baby sheep. Well, here there's baby birds. We're going to see if the camera picks it up. And if not, you get to see a fumar. So up here in the rocks, dink -a -dink, there's tiny little birds in a nest. Now a fumar is a relative of the albatross. Mm -hmm. I'm an albatross. You can see some of the original path here. So as you may have guessed, in World War I, no one was really coming to this place. They were kind of fighting a war. And then the troubles happened, both in Ireland and in North Ireland. So from like 1921 to the 70s, this area didn't get a lot of tourism. But recently, in 2015, the councils around where we're at were like, guys, this trail is too cool. We need to reopen it back up. So they brought in a lot of engineers and safety experts. And we now can walk in the footsteps of Victorians. Dun -dun. Look at 
There's all sorts of seabirds in this area. And yes, there are puffins, but allegedly they're very, very shy this year. So we're still gonna go on a puffin hunt, but we may just see other beautiful seabirds floating around. Woo! Falling over on Victorian rock. Puffins! Come to see me! That's my group. Okay, this is very, very cool. So first of all, in the sea, we have this little crowd of little birdies. But then on the wall in front of us, look at all of these birds. They are having babies. This is the bird nursery. That bird sounds like it's crying. I hope you can hear that. Holy shit, you guys. Look at this. All sorts of baby birds. <laughs> what? Oh, they're crying. I'll see if I can zoom in on this edit, but there's just like all different types of birds. There's the seagulls and there's other different water birds. I've never seen anything like this before. Is it a puffin? Is it a puffin? Maybe it's a puffin. Okay, now we're going inside a very dark hole. Very dark hole. water over here and like the water levels here we're walking in between this water thingy ah. <laughs> and kids that's why we wear our hats for checking the noggin Here you can see where bunk, old Victorian post and then rock slide. In the 1950s, mommy nature got a little bit upset and things slid down a little bit. So we no longer can walk across this Victorian path, which there's a cave right there. Allegedly. Mommy nature closed that. So now we walk on this beautiful little bridge out in the open for the birds to poop on my head. Okay, now imagine this. You're a Victorian, you're out here on your summer holiday, you're walking around, and then you reach this cave with all of these birds. Maybe they only nest here this time of year. But then, check out this nice little swimming hole. How cool would that have been to just go on a nice little walk and then hop down in your swimmers and go for a plunge? Oh, the Victorians, they had it all. If you look very closely, there's puffins there. Yeah. You can't see them. There's more up there. So it's starting to rain and all of the birds are going into the sea. Puffin. 
Okay, we'll see if the camera catches it. There's a little baby down here who wants some food. <laughs> no one will feed him food because he's a different type of bird. Poor little guy, <laughs> just feed him. It looks like the rain's finally caught us. Now we can actually see how this place looks. Check it out. The birds are definitely either liking it or not liking it. I haven't become fully fluent in squawking bird, but the sound of their squawk has significantly changed since it started to rain. Here comes the rain again. Oh, wow. Okay. I know I love the sun, but Ireland was built to not be sunny. There's so many different colors here that are in the rain. I mean, check that out. And here you can even see better the old Victorian path and like the newer path that we have. Mommy nature is pretty awesome. Okay, we'll see if the camera catches these colors. Check out how emerald the rocks are down there and the seaweed is just like this bright red ruby color. It's so beautiful. Guys, guys, this is great, great use. So one thing I also forgot to tell you, as this was always a tourist attraction, built for a tourist attraction, you've always had to pay to come here. You know, the cost is a little bit expensive, so it's about 20 pounds, I believe. Um, totally worth it. So last week we went to Belfast, we went in the really stinky jail for 15 pounds. And this experience, like this is so much more cool. You get to see some nature, you get to see some nesting birds, you get to see old Victorian stuff. You get to see Scotland sometimes. I mean, Scotland was there earlier. Now Scotland's a little bit shy, hiding behind some rain. 100% you need to come here if you're coming to North Ireland. So that's the Gobbins. Like, subscribe, or don't. But come here. You have to come see this. Whatever you do, it's so awesome. Ciao.